Welcome to The Breakdown, where you get a chance to meet some of our producers and go behind the scenes in the stories that we present on Go Okanagan. We're joined by Tim Morton and Brendan Osborne. Now, Tim, of course, we have to talk hockey first. You're the producer of Rocket Review. Exciting series that just wound up. We're in the second round now, but that first series was incredible. Unbelievable. Great game seven, and the Rockets coming back to, to even force that. Seattle, uh, full marks to the to the Thunderbirds. They played fantastic, uh, especially through the first three games, and they're pretty good in game seven, too. But the Rockets became the second team ever to come back from 3-0, uh, losing the first three games in overtime, and then a shutout win in game four. Came back here game five, uh, almost uh, choked that one out a little bit. Then game six in overtime again, and then game seven in overtime. And I want to uh, just say some. Uh, a real a congratulations to Tyson Bailey because it was a real coming out party for this guy. Colton Sissons, of course, injured before the series. Tyson Bailey steps up, gets a lot of his minutes, and he ends up with seven goals, five assists, a hat trick in game seven, and the overtime winner. What more could you ask for? Very exciting stuff. And now, of course, we're into the uh, BC interior rivalry between Kamloops and Kelowna. And uh, so what can we look forward to in that series? Well, that should be a great series. The Rockets, of course, are banged up from the initial series against Seattle. They lost a lot of guys, especially on the blue line. The Blazers have lost a couple of guys, too, but they're, and they're a big team and tough to handle. It's going to be a real tough series for the Rockets. And now this is going to be carried, uh, the whole series is going to be carried on shot, right? That's right, all, all games, uh, every game on Shaw TV, and uh, just check your schedule for it. Very exciting stuff. Now, Brendan, uh, you yes. don't get to drive the team bus, but you got no. to drive a bus. I did. This is exciting. At a, a rodeo. Yeah, a bus rodeo put on by BC Transit. They let the media actually drive a city bus. And it, yeah, you just That's not a very good in. idea. <laughs> it, it isn't, you would think. I was in a closed course parking lot, though, so I didn't have to drive on the road. Didn't have to pick up passengers. No, but I had a great guide. Uh, his name was Ivan. He had like 30 years experience. Uh, in Kelowna driving a city bus and it just gives you a real appreciation for what they do on a daily basis. Yeah, you got you got through that course but not too bad. Oh not too bad. I took out a few cones. Um, other media did it and they were ranked. I think I was like third from the bottom or something like that so I didn't do too good in the end but uh, yeah it was quite the experience. It was uh, something that that I'll never forget that's for sure. Well, maybe uh, maybe next year we could go head to head or something. You know, the three of us could get <laughs> could get buses and, and, and compete. A drag race. A drag race. That's more my style. They probably don't encourage that with buses. Probably not. Well, thanks a lot, guys.